Hey guys, Wayne here from Tech Made Easy. Today I wanna to show you how to switch your Fitbit to a new phone. Um, it's a really easy process. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. The first thing you wanna do is you want to make sure your Fitbit is synced. So this is the phone I currently have the Fitbit on, so I'm just gonna pull down on the screen here, take your finger, swipe down, and it's gonna sync all your Fitbit data. The important thing to note here is that all your data is backed up in the cloud via your Fitbit account. So um, that's what makes the sync process so easy. So now that I have synced it, I'm gonna jump over to the phone I wanna switch the Fitbit to. You're gonna download the Fitbit app from the Play Store. So just go to your App Store right here, and you're just gonna do a search for the Fitbit app in here, and you're gonna download it. So now we're gonna sign into our Fitbit account here. All right, so once we get signed into our Fitbit account, you're gonna notice right off the bat that all the information is automatically gonna show up in the new phone. Now this is, these are two prompts that will show up and we'll address these in a second. For now, just go ahead and click on the X in the corner here. And so you'll notice um, the Fitbit data is gonna basically show up almost identical in the new phone here. So now what we need to do is we actually need to uh, sync the Fitbit. So the first step is just downloading the app and signing into your account. So now what we're gonna need to do is on the old phone, I'm just going to sign out of my Fitbit account. So I'm gonna go to the upper right corner, click on the menu, swipe down, and I'm gonna click log out. So we're gonna log out of the old account. I'm gonna move that away. And now we're going to tap in the upper right corner on the Fitbit icon right here. And what you'll need to do is turn on your Bluetooth settings. So I'm gonna swipe down here, turn on Bluetooth. Obviously it's gonna vary depending on your phone. So you may have to go to your settings if you have an iPhone uh, or a different type of Android phone, but uh, just turn on your Bluetooth and make sure that your GPS is also turned on. So swipe down, I'm gonna turn on my location. And now I'm gonna go back. Okay, so now it's saying location permission requires to sync. We're gonna tap on that. We're gonna tap on location permission and then tap allow. And now, it's syncing again and our Fitbit is synced. And you'll notice this sync because in the upper right corner you'll see the little icon right there, there's a little green icon right above the battery. And now I'm gonna put the Fitbit on my wrist here. And I'm just gonna do a couple of arm motions so you can see the steps go up. Sometimes it does take a quick second for it to, uh, to sync up. But we're doing a couple of running motions right now. We'll pull down and give it a chance to sync, and you'll notice that the numbers just went up. So that's it guys, that's how you switch to a new device. Sorry we weren't in the center there. So literally, just to recap what we just did, we signed in to the Fitbit app on our new device, and then we made sure that we turned on Bluetooth and our location permissions. That's really important because that's how the app is gonna sync up with your Fitbit. And then we do another sync, just again by pulling down here, and that's it. And the way you confirm it again is you will see the little icon in the upper right corner. There's a little icon that's flashing, and that's how you know that you are linked. Uh, your Fitbit is linked with the app. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Leave a comment down below if you found the video helpful. We really appreciate that. Take care and have a good one.